Are you freaking kidding me? 100,000 of you. I can only count to like 30 and then I lose track. I'm like one, two. And so each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart, thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for spending time hanging out with me. And it's just, ugh, I love you all so much. <laughs> My name is Jordan Norman. I'm a professional film editor and I've edited music videos for awesome artists like Justin Bieber, Post Malone, Roddy Rich, Tyga, G Easy, Quavo, Kimlani, Sway Lee, Megan Thee Stallion, and many, many more. Welcome back to another episode of Music Video Editor Reacts, where I react to some of my favorite music videos from a music video editor perspective. What's wrong? I just want my internet to work. There we go. All right, let's head over to Patreon and see what the patrons voted for this week. And the winner is... <laughs> oh My God by Idol. Let's go. Oh my. And you know, I might be calling it Oh My Gosh because we out here not wanting to take the Lord's name in vain. That's what it's all about. Fun fact, Oh My Gosh. <laughs> This Idol song was nominated for a VMA in the best K-pop category. So if you really, really dig this song, go ahead and go vote for Oh My God in the VMAs. Oh, freaking baby, let's get right into it. Ooh, that's such a dark feeling. No! He licks sweet sleep mattress. I'm watching Idol here. Get out my way. Ooh. Okay, I see you, editor. I see like a little bit of the style you're putting into this. Forgive me, I don't know the members' names. I'm not very familiar with Idol, but we come out and our girl is getting dragged away by two guys. Like, she doesn't want to be here. And the editor is really interesting. I can already tell that they really like doing jump cuts to create a disorienting feeling. Like that, jump cut, jump cut. So if you saw those little inserts of like the wine and the lips, they show one part of the clip and then they just jump to a completely different part of the clip. Same with the lips. She pulls her finger up and then we just jump to where she's already wiping the blood across her lips. It's a really cool technique to create kind of like a disorienting, like uneasy feeling. I also want to note really quick that this literally looks like a womb. There's some kind of imagery happening with being like unsatisfied with who you are and being reborn. Ooh, and just like intercutting the red with the red looks so good. Okay, wow. This is so well edited, guys. We have our girl, she's in this white space and she says, set me free, set me free. I'm gonna melt so sick. So she is clearly unhappy with where she is. They're crawling towards this like string filled door. And then right when the door opens, we come into this more colorful scene because before we were in completely white and now we're coming out, we're like showing our true colors. And to create that transition of seeing the curtain open, we have our curtain shot and we mask out the middle of it to reveal our wide shot of the hallway. And we also add a blur in the middle of it to make the transition feel seamless. Oh, this is so good. I just love that white thing. I love that there's this like texture that we see. It's almost like film grain and it looks like there's some kind of light leak overlay going on. So what you do is you put that film texture on a blend mode so you can see underneath it and then you just overlay things and you see some footage. But at the same time, we got this flashy film texture, which creates a really interesting visual effect during the fast cuts. Ooh, there's a little throwable. Just 
going through. There's again those jump cuts. Yes! The editor gets it! So again, right here, we see that jump cut that the editor's been doing. We see it again. And as it falls into darkness, which is what the characters in this video are doing, they're coming from light, but they don't feel free there, so they're falling into darkness. It's always Halloween in my soul. Right before we jump cut to emphasize the beat drop, we make the entire frame just red. So we take out the other color channels, just leave red, and then we jump cut farther out so we can feel that like Oh my, boom, and we go red and then jump cut out. And that's a really nice way to emphasize the beat. Oh my God. Woo, matching the beat right there. And then right here too, you can tell that all the movements are all like kind of like jerky and like, uh, and that's because they were like moving in slow motion on set and then they speed it up to normal speed so all their movements kind of look like jerky and like evil and like weird. And that's a really cool technique that the director utilized to create kind of an evil uh, feeling. Ooh, and then we add the fast cuts on the fill. Yes. People ask me, where do you put your fast cuts, Jordan, when you're gonna do like some fancy things? Put it on a drum fill or a bass fill, any kind of musical fill, and it just like feels natural. So check it out. Fast cuts, boom, right on that fill. Those jump cuts again. New verse, so now we have a new scene. Always do that, it's so satisfying to watch. Whoa! You see those colors, man? It's getting a little gay up in here. My gaydar is going off very loudly. So these color shots right here are practical where they had lights on set all over the place flashing around her. And so the editor didn't create these colors, but on the shot before it, it's normal colors. They didn't have those lights. And then the editor took a little plug-in called, I think, Hue Offset, and it changes all the colors around the color wheel. So she turned that on right here so all the colors getting crazy and then we're into this shot which has the same effect but it was practically done so that's just a super dope technique to create a seamless transition in this instance was hard do you see how all those fast cuts match the beat perfectly oh God. Ooh. and one little extra little cherry on top tip is to create flashy sequences sometimes it's great to literally just put a white frame in the middle of the video so if I frame by frame through these fast cuts there's a white frame if I keep going there's another one right there so in between the clips the editor just puts a little white frame to kind of make it feel a little more flashy and a little more fun. So you just see those little flashes and it looks super cool. And you keep seeing them now in this verse because it's almost like a camera flash. Ooh! This gets me so excited, guys. Holy frick. Okay, a couple more fast cuts tips. If there's a lot of motion in front of the screen or a lot of motion blur, that's another great kind of footage to use when creating fast cuts. So lots of times I like to find just like random moments of like an arm flying or hair whipping or something like that and cut those in really fast and that creates a really like chaotic looking feeling. Like that, kind of hair whipping. A lot of motion. <laughs> Watch this guy. Oh, look at that, guys. The lyric says. 
blaze up like fireworks love till i would get burned so shout out to the editor for being aware of the lyrics what they're saying and putting an imagery to match the lyrics and this sequence is so cool oh my god like this is just some crazy lesbian energy going on right here hey i'm lesbian i thought you were american we have basically a love song but it's the girls dealing with temptation being like bro i know i'm not supposed to do this but this temptation this other person this love is just taking over my being and i can't resist it and that's why we're seeing all this rebirthing imagery the girls are finding that they feel more free in being who they are and giving in to temptation rather than subduing these desires that they have <laughs> Oh my god. So before this next chorus, our girl literally falls into the abyss. Like she's done. She's given up. Then the next dance sequence is in all that colorful light, which makes me think of the rainbow and pride. So the lesbian energy is like over the top right now. I thought you were American. But then even more of a plot twist. Right there, she just like, shout out to the artist for the way that she reacted, but also shout out to the editor and I'll show you why. So this is actually a pretty complicated sequence. We show the handgun and then we cut to the front and then we show this like textured stuff that we saw earlier in the fast cuts, but it's black and white. And that is like the impact. That's like when the shot happens is right there. And then another great way to show jump cuts is to emphasize the impact, and that's what they do here. We show this shot, and then we literally jump from here to here as she's reacting. Just feels so impactful, because it feels like her head just bang, just gets whipped out because it looks so fast. But we literally just cut out some frames of her going like this. So it l jumps from here to here. Oh bang! Oh my gosh. And she dies, bro. That's what the like, blood meant. And the wine. Bro, they're all given into their evil desires. Boom. There it is. If you didn't think that's what it was before, that's what it is. Proof right there. I'm gay. We have colorful lights going on and this shot going on. Like, I don't know. They don't have to be any more clear than this. So this is what I was talking about before with blend modes. You can see it a little more clearly. But right here, when you see two images at once, this is what a blend mode is. But you literally put two shots on top of each other and you can see both of them at the same time. And that's what you should do during fast cuts. And then we have, I don't know how to pronounce this, but it's Latin for from the bottom of my heart. And then we get into this last chorus and it's just like, All of them are freaking evil. They've been rebirthed. This is like coming out the womb. Oh, that was a nice speed ramp. I don't know if you guys have seen Cellophane by FKA Twigs, but it's like one of the best music videos I've ever seen. But this looks exactly like the end scene from Cellophane. And like, I feel like they might've ripped off of it, but it's like really powerful imagery for being reborn. It's almost like a baby has now come out the womb. And so she is reborn in her evil dark self as she has given over to her evil desires. I love all this flashing, like film looking stuff that the editor added on the new gun mode. It just gives it such a fun texture. No, she's dead. Oh, well, she's not dead, but she's dying. Look at this. Just like in the beginning where we have the frame expand and the aspect ratio gets bigger, we do the exact same thing at the end as it gets smaller 
and we're literally listening to the same thing. In filmmaking, we like to call that a bookend, where a piece begins and ends the exact same way, and it's just very satisfying for viewers when we are like, okay, we started the journey here, we went on this crazy adventure, and then we're back home just where we began, but our characters are different. And it's like, oh, this is how life is, man. We go out, we do something, and then we come back and we're changed because of it, but we always come back home. So it looks more like one of our girls basically committed suicide, it looks like, instead of giving in to her evil desires. And one of the girls got reborn as her evil self, and that's where she is. I really enjoyed this. Like, it's incredible artwork. I don't know about the meaning of it so much. I do know for the fact that when you are sinning, it does lead to death and destruction and not life. There is something to be said about the tension of submitting yourself to an evil desire and feeling that that might make you free or submitting your life to Christ and feeling like you're becoming imprisoned because you're submitting your life. But let you know, from my experience, submitting your life to Christ makes you freaking feel free. And that freedom that I've experienced through God is available to anyone, no matter what your sexual orientation is, no matter what the color of your skin is, literally everyone is welcome. So hit me up in the comments if you'd like to talk about that. This video was a piece of art, man, because it makes you think, it makes you just wonder about life, and I, I freaking love that. So that's what I learned from today's video, and I really hope you enjoyed it. If you liked videos like this, I have a ton of them. Go binge watch them all right here. It'll be up pretty soon. And now it's time for my favorite time of the day where I get to heal myself physically and mentally. I love you all. Much love. Peace out.